Okay, hi guys. So I'm going to show you how to use the tester, uh, the test kitty. Uh, what you have is you have a lancet holder, testy, pokey thing. You've got a box of lancets. You've got a, a little jar of uh, test strips. And you have the tester as well as the tissue paper and a little sock folded up that we use as kind of a pad. And I'll show you that. So first thing, you get one of the lancets out of here. You open this up and you just shove it in there. Be careful, it's pokey. And then when you put it back on, you just make sure that this little uh, shape matches on the right side. It won't go on both sides. But you gotta take this off first. So you twist this, and now you can see a little needle there. So don't poke yourself with that, it hurts. You close that off. Usually you can leave it on, uh, uh, it, there's a number which is dialed right here. Usually I find two is the best. Sometimes three, you don't have to go over that. That's just how hard it needs to be poked. Then you take out one of these test strips right here. Here you go, with a little butterfly. And you take the end, not with, the, this is the testing end. This goes into the tester, this little end right here. So facing up, this will be turned off just like that. And you pop it in here and then you slide it till it stops. And as soon as you do that, it'll numbers will come up. You have to wait a second or two until there and now it's ready to go. You can't wait too long or you uh, it shuts off. Then you grab your handy little sock. Kitty will just sit like this. He, he's very relaxed on this. He's done it a thousand times. You put the ear here. My finger is on the back side just holding it. My other finger is kind of holding the ear. And I'm using my elbow here to kind of keep Kitty in place but he doesn't struggle too much. You put this, you make sure you pull back on this like a trigger lick loading a gun or something. Hold that down. Usually right around this area is the best. Not too far down, not too far this way. Right about here. And you hold it in there, pressing it a little bit, not super firm. And now you get a little bit of blood there. You can squeeze it out if you want. That's all you need, just like you see, a little drip. You take this and you want to touch the blood to the little black part right there. So I'm going to go like that. And there's a little beep. You wait here in a second and numbers are going to come up in just a second. 165. So first I'm going to use the tissue now to hold it on his ear for just a couple seconds and that'll make that uh, stop bleeding there. And as you see, he didn't move at all. He just hung out here. Um, once it's done, 165, we just write it down on the piece of paper here. So we write down today's date, which is 115. We use the right ear on this time. Sometimes we use the left, sometimes we write. We just want to make sure we don't use the same one all over again. The time, uh, we do one in the morning and one in the evening. So let's say it's 9 a.m. Write the number down, 165. If he is 225 or below, we don't give him uh, insulin. So we write keep that. Okay, so remember, if it is 200, 225 or below, we do not give him any insulin. If it's above 225, then we give him insulin. Um, so at 165, all I'm doing here is I am putting a line here saying he does not need any insulin. If he did need insulin, which would be above 225, I would give him eight units. Now when I'm done, all I gotta do is take this strip out. I throw it into the disposable hazardous waste thing and then I take the lancet this is where I always end up poking myself I pull that out and I put it in there and then we give him the shot or not the shot right now he doesn't need a shot test him in the morning then test him in the evening before bed that's really it